Peace, peace. Welcome back to the channel. We got another video here today, and it's about uh, three six mafia. You feel me? The triple six, three six 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 mafia, and how the uh, how that music was very. They had intent. You feel me? They had meaning. They, like they was doing it on purpose. The way they was doing their uh, their music and stuff like that. Like they had a, a outcome that they wanted to have. So we want to dive into this uh, into them to that group. Certain uh, people in there, and then we'll talk after that. I don't know what other guys will come tell you, uh, hey, well, nah, we want man. Look, you don't play with the triple six nine, right? You know what it is. You do have a conscience. The average person go and say triple six, and I'm a triple six. You just straight up, somebody gonna come and say, you're going to hell. And if you really with that Christian religion shit, you're gonna think you're going straight to hell. You get what I'm saying? So we knew what the fuck it was. I knew what the fuck it was, and I enjoyed it. But being signed to the devil, what? How do you? I don't think I ain't. Not, what do you mean by being yeah, signed to the I devil? Right, just keep on making it. The fire and the lights gonna go out now. <laughs> Big hit the lights, sweet Big. Nah, <laughs> nah, nigga, you know what I'm talking about, man. Right? Three six mafia, man. Right? Come on, man. I can't give you all the goddamn secrets, man. Right? Come on, go go get beats and come over here. Nah. <laughs> No, nah, but you know what I'm talking about for real, for real, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, three six mafia. We can't call ourselves that shit because just saying the shit, you know we got to tap in, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, six six six. We did the pentagram shit, the the uh what you call that shit? We did Ouija all that spooky yeah, the Ouija board. We did all that old spooky ass shit when we was kids. Well, something seemed like it happened. You know what I'm saying? How do you think three six is not like Coop dead, rest in peace, Coop. Lord dead, really rest in peace, Lord. You get what I'm saying? And uh, 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 uh. here come uh me, Paul, and Juicy is still alive. Just imagine if Boo was dead. Don't want Boo to be dead, then it might wouldn't work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But since it's still four of us, it's still straight. You see what I'm saying? Three, if the three of us die, then the little shit we probably did for real or didn't do for real. And uh, what Triple Six did was made those two parts of the city come together. South Memphis ought to go to rap, North Memphis and rap, North Memphis ought to go, you know, cause it was all full of, you know what I'm saying, rappers from all over. So we really just say brought the city together Yes, I was deeply. I don't know about nobody else, but I can tell you we know we was doing with Triple Six. Hey, we exactly knew what it meant. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, you know, I kind of didn't want to get into all that, no matter what I blame God for doing. You know, uh, I, 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 I hated God for what he did. But as it came to the triple six, I didn't want, I don't think I hate him that much. But I did it because it was money. And so, you know, you could, uh, I even had the, had the satanic books, uh, the little warlock materials, you know, every warlock got to have a dagger, cut the little point stars, whatever, little candles and shit. I had all that, I was into all that. So, because something about the other Bible didn't work out. So I can tell you this, we did, folks with Triple Six, some folks were scared of it and left, put it like that. But me, I meant what I was saying. I definitely meant it. I said, uh, so God, you're going to play like that, huh? Well, I got you. I'm going to make black folks comfortable with Triple Six. Back then, black folks was like scared of this shit. You know, they wanted too much on it. It's basically rock and roll. You know, they said triple C to go, ah. Oh. Then, they, then they start listening to it and go to church. So they said, um, asked a lot, do y'all worship the devil? They said they're Christians, but they bumping triple six. You get know what I'm saying? So my job was out of anger to make black people get comfortable with their name. And I was very intelligent with it because I read a lot about it. You know, so I read a lot of books. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Baptist. I'm not an atheist. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a Catholic. I don't believe in Jews. I don't believe in a lot of this bullshit that they make up. 
it's all to maintain order. Now, I can't talk against religion because without religion, which is what they use to maintain order, if that happened, it'd be a lot of chaos. You get what I'm saying? But uh, I read a lot and I put all that into the music and the energy. You get what I'm saying? Because how you get Satan's name going, you get the kids to liking it. Now, today, see, I think we was one of the first people to break it like that. You would think Triple Six would have been a rock and roll band. So I think I was used by Satan and I think he's a bitch. Uh, I don't fear him. I don't even believe in that motherfucker no more. But uh, just to get black people, you know, once you get the black people, which are the riders of the Bible, they carry the Bible on their back like Jesus, uh, Yahshua, whatever his name is, told of the cross, you know what I'm saying, the crooks or whatever. Uh, but anyway, we got those, we got people comfortable with his name and we made sure we made songs <clears throat> the um, violent. Very, very violent. We made songs very violent. Um, everything, everything was violent. Sometimes we uh, used to hypnotize, come up with stuff to hypnotize people, like repeated the um, crazy shit going on. We went downtown to do uh, an album cover for Mr. Styles. And you uh, couldn't know me, of course, I'm so with the shit. I got on the guy, this me on the cross. This is me, Paul Lord, and Juice with Crunch on it. He wasn't this one part of the group. You know, Boo had been across yet, and all them other guys. Um, while down there is a building, it's called a factory something. But right now it's on Riverside somewhere. Uh, all them houses up on Riverside and shit. It's a warehouse. We ran across some shit we weren't looking for. While at the same time we had triple six, but then we realized there's some real shit going on. It was actually motherfuckers in this building with the little robes and shit on, little all took on the motherfucking uh, Looking in that motherfucker, so you know we got caught. Damn, they made us watch. So, you know, we leaving. Well, that was the second time. First time, police would put up like men's police said, y'all shouldn't be down here. So that let me know right then it was some shit going on in this world, uh, in this city by rich folks and, and politicians that's in this shit. And this shit is really serious. So I told myself, hey, well, I'm not the kind of drink blood because you know there's 150 some ways of worshiping Satan. Voodoo's, you got Satan's, the copes, all kinds of shit, witchcraft, sorcerers, all that shit. So I guess I was just a goddamn messenger. You get what I'm saying? This shit is real. Uh, I went by Southwind and ran across a motherfucker with a bonfire. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about it, I, I said, I, I guess I was, um, what'd you call it? Uh, you know, I was a clean, fancy type. Satanist. That's pretty much what I wanted to show, really. Uh, shout out to Black Balloon. He the one that put the video together. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's why I be kind of wanting to tell people to be careful the music that you're listening to and just at least kind of know about a person as much as you can because these motherfuckers, they be doing shit intentional and people will just witness it or hear shit or see shit and just think, uh, whatever the fuck. Because you based it off your own mindset type tip, not knowing people got actual agendas that they're trying to get done type shit so i feel like that was a type very important just to point out it was more endless artists and even other people around the world that has the same type of shit in common so i'm gonna probably do a little couple videos on this shit or even make it a series on different people but for one yeah through six mafia the triple six mafia uh that's really what i wanted to show about them and say about them and at least i come i say